I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Happy Friday, everyone, and welcome to News on the Bay. First off, we have positive world news with Anissa. Hi, and welcome back to Positive World News. After the most destructive cyclone in Fijian history smashed into the island four years ago, it was feared that the rich coral reefs surrounding the island would never recover. But a recent dive expedition by the Wildlife Conservation Society revealed there's nothing to fear and the corals are re reproducing at an exceptional rate. Along with the brightly colored coral reefs, the area was teeming with tropical fish and other sea, sea life. This is crucial to the Fijian populations which depend on the bounty of the sea and the reefs for income and food security. Last week, Sutton Bay students and staff celebrated our beloved substitute's birthday. Mr. Ralston said he was beyond grateful for the wishes and greetings from all the middle school and high school students. He will never forget his 65th birthday and we have become a part of his family just like he's become a part of ours. Thank you everyone for making this day so special for him. Thanks, Anissa. Next, we're headed to the weekend weather with our two meteorologists, Keegan Monroe and Kedrick Defoe. Friday has highs of 39 and lows of 24. Saturday and Sunday both have highs of 41 and lows of 28. Back to you, Mike, Keegan, and Ethan. Thank you, weathermen Monroe and Defoe, for the weekend forecast. Now we have a special tribute for our beloved band teacher, Mrs. Hutchin. Three, one, three, and... I just wanted to say I'm going to miss you so much and all the memories that we had in fourth hour music appreciation. I wish you the best. I'm Miss Hutchin, it's me, Logan. I'm not broken for once. I'm gonna miss seeing you around the school. It's always nice. You're always someone that kids could go and talk to if they needed someone. You were always supportive, kind, and understanding. And it's just, it's not gonna be the same without having you in the school. I'm gonna really miss you. I miss you, Miss Hutchin. I had a good time in since like 6th to 12th grade, I think. And you taught me a lot of things, and I hope you do good at your next job. Yeah, I got my crew, but truth is what I want. Realigned and on point. Power to the peaceful. Prayers to the water. Hi, Miss Hutchin. I'm definitely going to miss you, miss seeing you around in the school. Thank you for teaching me and music appreciation. I love that class and band, and I wish you the best. Uh, thanks for these past three years. It's been awesome with you and band. Just you teaching me all this stuff. and I love you. Peace, Miss Hutch. Thank you for all the memories. We'll miss 
you, K Hutch. Good luck in your future careers. Find things. My father taught me that I'm a speck of dust, and this world was made for me. So let's go and try our luck. Say, I've got my roots down, 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 down deep. I've got my roots down, 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 down. Hi, Miss Hutchin. Thank you, Miss Hutchin. We won't miss you. Good luck with your new job. Down, down, down I've got my roots down, down, down deep. So what are we doing here? What has been done? I love you, Miss Hutchin. We got hired the same day, and there's so many memories I can't think of. I can't just pick one. All of the collages we've done together, field trips we've done together. I love you so much. I'll miss you so much. And good luck on their next steps. Can we go right back to the start? Okay, Hodge, I'm gonna miss you so much. Thank you for all of the memories and making my second day experience so great in the fine arts. I'll never forget all the musicals, the band concerts, and you taking me under my wing when I first moved to Sutton's Bay. I'll forever be grateful for that. And my favorite memory with you would have to be all the musicals and all the musical rehearsals. I wish you the best of luck in your next chapter. I don't just have one favorite memory. I would say my favorite memory of you is just every day. All, even with the mask on, you always have a smile on your face. You're always lighthearted and ready to teach kids some music and just, yeah. You're gonna miss that so much. And thank you for everything again and good luck on your next endeavors. Thank you, Miss Hutchin, for all of the good times and all of the beautiful music and all of the laughs. I will miss seeing your face in the halls and I look forward to seeing where your journey takes you. Thank you for helping to make me the teacher I am today. Thank you so much, Mrs. Hutchin, for all the memories and all, everything you've taught us over the years. You will be missed dearly, and good luck on your endeavors. And next up, we are going to a fun game called Would You Rather with the Suttons Bay High School and Middle School students. Cowton or octopus? Cowton, had it before, scrumptious. I would rather eat cow tongue because it's like beef. I'd rather lose my hearing because I want to see your beautiful face every day. Would you rather lose your sense of sight or hearing? I think I would rather lose my hearing. And would you rather eat cowton or octopus? I would rather eat octopus. Octopus? My sight. 
Would you rather eat octopus or cow tongue? And sense of sight or hearing? Sense of sight. Would you rather eat cow tongue or octopus? And would you rather lose your hearing or your sight? Would you rather eat octopus or cow tongue? Cow tongue. And would you rather lose your sight or your hearing? My sight. Would you rather eat octopus or cow tongue? Definitely octopus. And lose your sense of sight or hearing? Mm, I would definitely lose my sense of hearing. Because then I can tell you my name. Would you rather lose sense of sight or sense of hearing? Sense of hearing. And would you rather eat cow tongue or um, octopus? Cow tongue. Would you rather eat cow tongue or octopus? Definitely octopus. And would you rather lose your sight or your hearing? Uh, I'm gonna say sight. Would you rather eat octopus or cow tongue? I've already eaten octopus, so I'm gonna go with octopus. Sounds good. And sense of sight or hearing? Mm, I would lose my sense of hearing, so I can hear if someone was telling me to shut up. So that's basically the biggest clutch crush of your life. Yeah. So. Would you rather eat cow tongue or octopus? Um, I think I would rather eat cow tongue. And would you rather lose your sense of sight or hearing? I would have to pick hearing. Would you rather eat octopus or cow tongue? I would rather eat octopus. And would you rather lose your sight or your hearing? My sight. Would you rather lose your sense of sight or hearing? Sight. And would you rather eat cow tongue or octopus? Cow tongue. Would you rather lose your hearing or your sight? Oh, my hearing. And would you rather eat cow tongue or octopus? Neither. Okay. <laughs> would you rather eat octopus or cow tongue? Octopus, because it's more common, I think. And lose your sense of sight or hearing? Sense of hearing, for sure. Yes. Would you rather eat cow tongue or octopus? Oh, eat octopus. Oh. I gotta go cow tongue, bro. I don't want them suction cups. <laughs> and would you rather lose your sight or your hearing? Hearing. Hearing. Okay, Mikey, would you rather eat cow tongue or octopus? I'd have to go with cow tongue, I think. And would you rather lose your sense of sight or hearing? Um, hearing for sure. I have to be able to see. Thank you to everyone who participated in Would You Rather. Now on to school announcements with our professional school announcer, Lila Vang. Welcome to school announcements. Get ready for March Meltdown. Please vote for your choice of class representatives by completing the survey posted to the All School Announcements page. Underclassmen, please only vote for one boy and one girl. Seniors, please vote for three boys and girls. Voting will remain open through advisory on Friday, March 12th. The dress up days for the week of spring break are posted around the school. Please stay tuned for activity plans for the afternoon of March 25th. Lunch activities will continue this week. Please see the brackets for your schedule. All games will take place in the Media Center for high school students. Uno will be played on Mondays and Thursdays, and the Nintendo Tournament will take place on Tuesdays and Fridays. The Middle School Uno Tournament will take place in the Media Center on Tuesdays and Fridays. Middle School and High School yearbooks are on sale. They are separate yearbooks, and the links for purchase are located on the All School Announcements page. Every yearbook purchased, a tree is planted. Attention seniors, senior portraits and quotes are due coming Monday, March 22nd. Please email them to Mrs. Vitale ASAP. Seniors, if you haven't picked up your scholarship folder, please step into the counseling office to grab it. Deadlines are approaching. If you are taking a virtual class, please make sure to respond to your check-in message today. Note, this is only on Thursdays and Fridays. If you, if you still owe Mrs. Hersey money for your pie shirt, please get it to her. The pie picture will be taken today in the beginning of the high school lunch. Please meet in the back of the gym. Part-time farm worker, one to two days a week this summer. During harvest season, additional hours will be available. A small farm in SB where you would be doing tractor work and manual labor. Call Gary at 231-499-5924. 
For lunch today, it's chicken pot pie. Back to you, Mike and Ethan. Thank you for the updates, Lila. Next up, we're off to SBSN with sports analyst Grace Marshall. Hello, students, and welcome back to Sutton Bay Sports Network. Let me tune you in. Tuesday, the varsity girls basketball team lost to Onekama and played Kingsley last night. It was a great game. The girls play St. Mary's on Saturday. Boys varsity basketball played on Onekama on Tuesday and won 65 to 42 and played Kingsley last night. The boys will play GTA on Saturday. Good luck to the boys and the girls basketball this weekend. And the Bay Reps played two good games against Alpena and Big Rapids this past weekend. They won 5-3 against Alpena and 7-1 against Big Rapids. We wish them luck as they play Cranbrook tonight and Ann Arbor tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in. Back to you, Ethan and Mikey. Thanks for keeping us up to date on sports, Grace and Ethan. And thanks to everyone who have tuned in and have been a part of News on the Bay this week. Have a great weekend. Have a great weekend.